God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, these three are one. Even in the first book of uh, John chapter, chapter 5 and verse 7, it talks about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. Now, when you... First epistle of John, chapter, chapter five, 5, verse 7. So in the most ancient authority, that verse is not to be found. It's a fabrication. So your religion is based on a fabrication. You're thumb-sucking something that is not supposed to be there. It's number one. It's number one. Back to the discussion in the year of 1993, when dozens of Christian missionaries in Durban tried to corner Sheikh Didat in a heated debate, where Sheikh Didat at that time was alone facing them. However, in this segment, you will watch how Sheikh Ahmed Didat was able to create panic on their faces, because they have no idea that the entire Bible is in the Sheikh Didat's head. Yes, my son. Yes, we just trying to look at uh, the charity of Christ. And when you look at, uh, you know, uh, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, these three are one. Even in the first book of uh, John chapter, chapter 5 and verse 7, it talks about the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. Now, when you... First epistle of John, chapter, chapter 5, five verse, verse 7. Right. Now, when you look at uh, the book of Genesis there, um, in the book of Hebrew, which, which book? Genesis, oh, Genesis. Genesis chapter, one, chapter 1. You see, there uh, where it says, in the beginning God. And you come down to verse 26, it's also talking about um, mm -hmm. God said, let us. And when you were talking about us, you know, it's a word that implies to two or three people. Right. So we believe that, um, you know... It could also mean a million. Yeah, it can mean. Million. Okay. But we are trying to look at, even from the Hebrew kind of understanding, or rather a Hebrew context, it's Elohim. Elohim. Now, it talks about the creation. You know, Jesus, okay, God the Father, the Son of the Holy Spirit. Now, when we try to look at, uh, when God says, let us in the creation. We see that Jesus was there in the very beginning. And this also goes with the um, uh, the book of uh, John chapter 1. Uh, thank God for you know, the words that you have said from the very beginning that you agree with the old, uh, the old Testament books. And mm -hmm. I, never said, I never uttered any such words. I don't know where you come talking about. Prophetic, you said I, I never said anything like that at all. Uh, <laughs> all right. Except in Moses? Okay. Yes, I accept Moses and Jesus, all the prophets. I accept all right. them. All right. But I didn't say the books that go in their name, I accept them in total. All right. Yeah. Thanks very much. Yes. But you said you agree with our, the four Gospels. No, no, I didn't say that either. I said, look, there are so many things that Jesus said, I agree with. Everything that Jesus said, I agree with. Everything that Jesus says, you see, you have the Red Letter Bible. You know the Red Letter Bible? Yeah. Yes. yes. Every word of Jesus is in Red Letter what you're supposed to have uttered. They are in red letters in the Bible. 90% of the New Testament is black. Black like you and me. You know that? 90% is black. So in other words, 90% Jesus didn't utter a single word. 90%. Oh, your okay. question. Your question. Yeah, your question. Let, let me just finish. All that. right. All right. We, we, we believe that the scriptures interpret other scriptures. And so even though the gospel says, in the beginning was the word and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And the Word was made money first and dwelt among us. We believe that Jesus is God, and He was there right. in the beginning. Right, right, right. You see, Even in the creation. Right, right. You haven't, no, nobody has still answered my question, my request. I said, where does Jesus say, I am God? Where does He say, worship me? This is now, you using the words of John, that John yes. said such and such a thing, and you're giving an interpretation that this means that Jesus is God. Jesus didn't say, I am God. He didn't say, worship me. Now, coming to, coming to your quotation about the Holy Trinity, you quoted me from the authorized King James Version of the Bible, and the Roman Catholic Version. It has that verse, that verse. 
first sentence of John chapter 5, verse 7, where it says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. It's there. In your King James Version, it's there. And in the Roman Catholic Version, it's there. But in all the modern translations, including the Revised Standard Version, it's thrown out as a fabrication. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Do you know that? Yes, I know. And yet you are quoting now 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 cooperating denominations, maybe including yours. They, they went out to produce the RSV, the most up-to-date Bible today available, going back to the most ancient authorities, most ancient manuscripts. This one here goes to the ancient authorities, ancient manuscripts. The Roman Catholic goes to the ancient authorities. The RSV goes to the most ancient. That's dating about 300 years after Jesus, three to four. This is about four to 600 years after Jesus. So in the most ancient authority, that verse is not to be found. It's a fabrication. Even in the Dead Sea Scrolls? Even in the Dead Sea Scrolls. Mm -hmm. This verse does not exist. Well, we don't no, many other verses. <laughs> Even the Dead Sea Scroll is no gospel to you. So what I showed you from the Dead Sea Scroll, I said, look, this prophet of righteousness in the Dead Sea Scroll is Jesus. You say, no, I don't accept that. Because the Dead Sea Scroll is not your book of authority. Your book of authority is your Bible, and I'm quoting you your Bible, and your Bible authorities who have thrown out that verse as a fabrication. So your religion is based on a fabrication. You're thumb-sucking something that is not supposed to be there. No more. No more. Let me just finish it up. No, 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 no. You asked it. No, no, let me ask. I'm answering your, I'm answering your question. You see, you, you gave a lengthy explanation. So now you quote it from the book of Genesis. You see, you took from here, you went to the book of Genesis. But if we have Bible and in the book of Genesis, that first verse of the Bible, what is this? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Right? Now that first verse is a mistranslation in every Bible on earth. No, 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 no. L l listen to me. I'm not dogmatic. I'm now telling you that you said just now that that word is Elohim. In the beginning, God, the Hebrew word for God is Elohim. In is a plural in Hebrew. Now open your Bible. It says, in the beginning, God. The Hebrew is God's. The Hebrew is God's. That's Elohim. Yes, Elohim. It is plural, but it is a singular, one God. So look, you have no right. When the word the man uttered, the God dictated it to Moses, he said, Elohim, and Im means gods. You have to translate it as gods. You have a right to make a note to say, look, you see, in the Hebrew language, this word Elohim does not mean more than one God. It means what and what not. You have a right to an explanation, a commentary. But the, but, the but declaration you, you, of faith the Israelis was the Lord Elohim, he is one. I mean, this yeah, is no, 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 in the, no, 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 I'm quoting the word, the words. Yeah. In the beginning, God yeah. created the heavens and the earth. Yeah. The that's that's Elohim. An Elohim. Yeah. Now, Elohim means God's. Uh, right. If it means one God, then there's no Trinity. No, but we only believe in one God. This is what you say with your mouth, but in your head you got three. No, you see, no. you said you believe in the Holy Trinity. Yes. Do you believe in the Holy the Trinity? Word, Trinity yes. is not in the Bible, but we do read of but you do believe God the revealed Spirit. Father, Son, and So Holy you Spirit. believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. One God. Right, right. But you say in you say in your catechism, yeah. you say in your catechism, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Yes, but it's you one say thing. you say in your catechism, yeah. mm -hmm. the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But they are not three almighties, but one almighty. Mm -hmm. It continues. What does Yo uh, Yahweh Echad? <laughs> <laughs> the Father is almighty, the Son is almighty, and the Holy Ghost is almighty. Yes. But they are not three almighties, but one almighty. Yes, it continues. Mm -hmm. The Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person. But they are not three persons, but one person. Yes. Now, this is what you are uttering in your language. Mm -hmm. Sounds like English. Yes. 
It is English? No, it sounds English. So. <laughs> it sounds like it. But, but I like that. can be a father <laughs> and I can be a son at the same time yes, and I can be a husband. No, no, no. You said person, person, person. But they are not three persons or one person. Yeah, but the body is soul, spirit. You said person, person, person. In your catechism, man, the Roman Catholics, the Anglicans, the Presbyterians, the Lutherans. So, so you, you say, you say, you say. I've been waiting uh, a long time for asking but my question. Look, I'm answering that man there, and yeah. you, are, you are not fair to him. <laughs> and now you fair to me. I, I've, I've had my hand up, like, <laughs> no, I was no, waiting, no, and then he no, put his hand up. No. I want to ask this you one question. You, 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 yeah. you, should, you should have patience, my son. Yeah. You, see, you ask a question, he asked a question, and I'm trying to answer him. Yeah. And now you are getting impatient. Show a little patience. A little patience. <laughs> so the first word, Elohim is mistranslated in every Bible on earth. In the Hebrew language is Elohim, and Im is a plural word, that which we all agree, we agree. But you see, in the Hebrew language, like in the Arabic language, there are two types of plurals. In the Arabic and Hebrew, there are two types of plurals. Ask the Jew. Ask the Jew now this Elohim, how many gods are there? He says one. Is he a triune God? He says, no. Is he one with Moses? He says, no. He is Ahad, Ahad. Yeah. He's the one and only. <laughs> right. He is not three in one. He is not two in one. He is not millions in one. He is one by himself, alone. That's the Hebrew. But what is his Elohim? In the Quran also is the same. See, the Quran says, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. That it is for us to send down the revelation, and it is for us to protect it. So you ask the Muslim, who is this us? Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Is your Muhammad, Jibreel, and uh, God? He says, no. Then who is this us? You have a right to ask. No Arab Christian asks the Muslims, because they know in their language there are two types of plurals. So in English, you haven't got that. In Arabic and Hebrew, we have two sets of two types of plurals. There is one who's a plural of respect, and there's a one plural of numbers. Mm -hmm. So the Jew will tell you that this is a plural of respect in his language. Therefore, he can translate as God, because it's a plural of respect. It is still God. But if you are translating, you have to translate as God, because at the back of your mind, your Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That this Im, Elohim, means Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So you had to say, in the beginning, God's created the heavens and the earth. But the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that these three put together, they said, let us create man. Who is this us? You ask the question. Who is this us? Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? Yes. Why not Moses with him? Why not the millions of millions of angels with him? Moses was with him. The, 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 the angels were there. Could you deal with the the, 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 the angels were there. Millions of them no, were there. The beginning why, there was God. why did he not use the angels right. also? Because there were No, the angels, right. angels. God created, you see? The, the angels. So now, the thing is this now, you are using one, one set of rules for language, your own rule, to justify something, now you ask the Jew, he said, look, we have got plural of respect in our language. The Arab says, we have got plural of respect in our language. Now you can't take that out and he said, look, also in the Quran you have plurality of gods. There isn't. 